What you say ladies and gents, it's your boy Bucket Sam and we are back again today with another video and today we are doing Game Week 13 Premier League predictions but you know what I need to say first before we get into the video what are we saying about the shirt today? Today we are wearing a training shirt for Roma what are you saying, are we hating it or are we rating it? Let me know in the comment section below and please as well comment all your predictions because whoever wins and gets the most right will get a shout out in next week's video so let's roll that intro And now onto our first game of Game Week 23, where 9th place Villa hosts 10th place Arsenal. And the two sides are only separated by one point, but the Villa have two games in hand on the London side. And the London side lost quite embarrassingly against the Wolves after dominating the first half after two red cards, one for Leno and one for David Luiz. And there could be some discussions about David Luiz, but not on my Game Week predictions, maybe for a video in later time. But the Villa also lost after getting absolutely battered by Jesse Lingard. And this should be a really close game. But I do think Villa will have the advantage. As Martinez will be wanting to bounce back after that poor performance. And Arsenal without Leno. So for me, I think Villa will win 2-1. And now on to our next game where 16th place Newcastle host 12th place Southampton. And this should be a really interesting game. Southampton in free fall. A few weeks back they were in the top four. And now they're four into 12th after getting absolutely battered by Manchester United on the weekend. But Newcastle themselves aren't in brilliant form. They're not in bad form. The week before last beating Everton in a very convincing win. But then losing to Crystal Palace this week just gone and for me this this is a really tough one to call but I think Southampton just have that edge with the likes of Che Adams and Danny Ings so for me I'm going to go for a 1-0 Southampton away win and now onto our next game where 17th place Burnley host 15th place Brighton and Brighton after an absolutely amazing win can we just all take our hats off I'm not taking my hat off but can you all take your hats off to Brighton after being Tottenham and Liverpool in the space of a week it's absolutely ridiculous the side were once in a relegation battle but they're starting to pull away and yeah they're now unbeaten in the last four games and they travel to a Burnley side at Turf Moor who have lost two on the bounce I know Man City yes it's a tough game but they really lack that that quality that edge and I think Brighton will win this so I'm going to go for a 2-1 Brighton away win and now on to our next game where 5th place West Ham travel to 18th place Fulham. And Fulham off the back of a, a big loss against Leicester. And they really didn't capitalise on chances they could have had. And this is the problem for me with Fulham. They don't they don't have that goal scoring edge. They, they have chances and they create chances. They're a good football inside. But they just don't have that attacking edge. Mitrovic is not a qual top quality Premier League striker. He's a brilliant championship striker. He reminds me much of Dwight Gale. Brilliant in the championship. But really struggles to make that step up against a West Ham side now who've only lost one in the last six games and that was against Liverpool. The side sit comfortably in fifth place and with Lingardinho banging in the goals, oh, oh, I'll tell you now I feel bad for Fulham. West Ham are going to be travelling with brilliant confidence. So for me, I'm going to go for a 3-1 away West Ham win. And now on to our next game where second place Manchester United host seventh place Everton. And this will be a really tight and close game because Man United have won one in the last three but they did win that game by nine goals. Absolutely ridiculous. Against an Everton side now who who have been in pretty patchy form recently but got a brilliant win this weekend. So for me, I think this will be a draw. I am going to go for a 1-1 draw. And now on to our next game where 19th place West Brom travel to 8th place Tottenham. And who'd have thought this? Listen to this stat. In the last three games, West Brom have a better form than Tottenham. Well, Tottenham now have lost their last three games on the spin. And West Brom losing two and drawing one in the last three. But for me, I know this is very controversial and West Brom fans are going to absolutely love me with this prediction. I think Big Sam's side might nick a result here with Tottenham in really poor form and without Kane they literally look they look dead it's, it's really weird to see and with Gareth Bale not starting I think West Brom will nick a 1-0 away win now onto our next game where third place Leicester travel to the Molyneux to face 14th place Wolves and Wolves have been in absolute dire form and I know they got a brilliant win against Arsenal but they were really helped by the referee and VAR because for me Wolves looked awful 1-0 down just before half time they looked dead on their knees now it was quite embarrassing performance for me so I think they'll carry on, on the, to this game against the Leicester side who got a brilliant vital win to keep them up in the top four so for me I'm going to go for a Leicester 2-0 away win 
And now onto the biggest game of the week, the one that all of you have been waiting for and the game I cannot wait for. It is Liverpool facing Manchester City. And Manchester City are leading the title race against the Liverpool side. They've got an embarrassing defeat against Brighton. This should be such a brilliant game to watch and I'm hoping both sides will go for it and it won't be a cagey affair. And the thing is, Man City have struggled in recent years at Anfield and against Liverpool. So for me, I think this will be a draw and I do think Man City will concede a goal. Yes, you heard me, Man City conceding a goal. Who'd have thought it? How bizarre. So I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. And now onto our next game where 20th place Sheffield United face 6th place Chelsea. And Chelsea now under Tuchel are still undefeated and unbeaten with two wins and one draw. A brilliant win against Tottenham, against the Sheffield United side now, who have got two wins in the last three games themselves, with a vital win against other relegation side, West Bromwich Albion. But for me, I'm really sorry Sheffield United fans, I think Chelsea will just edge this game and start to crumble your hopes of survival. For me, I think Chelsea will get a 3-1 away win. And now onto our next game where 11th place Leeds host 13th place Crystal Palace. And the two sides go into the game with identical form in the last three games. Both getting two wins and one loss. Both sides do not like to draw. And Leeds should be really interesting with Leeds with their total football style against the Roy Hodgson side who all like to sit behind the ball and counter but the problem is for me, Palace are without Zahar this weekend. So I do think Leeds will get the win here. I am going to go for a 2-1 home win. A big thanks for watching, guys. We are so close, and I mean so close, to hitting 650 subs. I know it's bonkers because in the last video, last week, I was asking for 600 subs. We are growing so fast. But statistically, I'm going to moan here, 66% of you aren't subscribed. So flip in subscribe and let's hit 650 subscribers this week. Thank you guys. Keep watching. Everyone stay safe. Book out Sam. Over and out.